the Indiana Pacers are on a streak of four consecutive wins. After a setback in the NBA in-season tournament finals, they experienced a dip in form, but they are back on track now. The impact of this resurgence was felt strongly by their upcoming opponent. The Milwaukee Bucks, who were defeated 113-122 on their home court, despite holding a lead in the first quarter. Tyrese Halliburton is having an outstanding season and is undoubtedly the player driving his team's performance. If his teammates join him in this effort, the Indiana Pacers could surprise any opponent. Tyrese Halliburton had a stellar performance with 26 points, 11 assists, and nine rebounds in the last triumph against this opponent, while Benedict Matherin contributed 25 points and 13 rebounds. In the last four games, the team has received significant contributions from bench players providing much needed energy and successfully overcoming score deficits. This season, the Pacers have notably increased their pace of play and it seems the team is looking better overall. Even when their three-point shooting is off, as seen in the last game, five out of 35, they managed to compensate with tremendous resilience. The Indiana Pacers have demonstrated their ability to handle the Milwaukee Bucks and they will attempt to apply the same recipe from their previous encounters. A combination of tenacity, solid defense to stop the opponent, and force them into making more mistakes and off, all while maintaining a strong performance from the bench players and utilizing a broader rotation. The Milwaukee Bucks have halted their winning streak and it happened on their home court against the Indiana Pacers. Prior to this game, the Bucks were in excellent form with a record of eight wins and one loss, boasting an overall record of 24-9. Milwaukee Bucks seem to be on a roll with the collaboration between Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard improving, especially on the offensive end. However, the team displayed certain weaknesses in defense, struggling to cover Damian Lillard's slow movements, which opponents often exploit. Malik Beasley's lack of speed leaves them vulnerable, and adversaries aim to capitalize on this in specific phases of the game. Nevertheless, Giannis Antetokounmpo's performance has been leading them throughout the season, reaffirming their status as favorites in the race for the championship ring. Yet, they will need a more solid performance in both directions to secure their position. It is expected that in the upcoming rematch against the same opponent, the Milwaukee Bucks will demonstrate that they've learned from their mistakes and address those issues. To secure a win, they will require a better two-way performance from Damian Lillard, along with a more significant contribution from the bench players, who scored only 16 points in the previous game, alongside the consistently strong play of Giannis Antetokounmpo. The Indiana Pacers won the previous game, but over the last five years, the overall record heavily favors the Milwaukee Bucks. In the last 17 matchups, the Bucks have secured 12 wins with just five losses. However, it's worth noting that four of those losses occurred in the last two seasons, indicating that the Pacers have found ways to surprise their opponents despite the historical dominance of the Bucks, absences and injuries. The injury situation remains unchanged leading up to this game. The Indiana Pacers will be without Bruce Brown, Kendall Brown, and Oscar T. Shibui. Additionally, there is uncertainty about the availability of Andrew Nembhard, who left the game after just eight minutes. On the other hand, the Bucks will be without Marjan Buchamp due to illness, and Jay Crowder continues to be sidelined. The Indiana Pacers are on a roll, full of confidence after four triumphs. It's hard to expect them to defeat Milwaukee twice in just a few days. A similar situation occurred in December last year, when the performance in seven days was mixed, so a similar scenario is anticipated in this two-game series. Our prediction is Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah. I will be there.